Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I got some new products from Madame Glam. These are their brand new gel or chrome gel paint. Um, this was released on August 14th. I got them a bit late and I'm even later with the video, so I'm sorry for that. But you should go and grab these while they are still in stock. They're absolutely stunning. They already have a silver from before. And I have a code Cami30, which will save you 30%. So we have a vintage chrome gel paint. You see kind of the color there. We have a gold chrome gel paint. Oh, this light was not fun. Let me try and turn that a bit. And we have a rose chrome gel paint. Um, this is the silver that they came out with. Gosh, I think it is a couple of years ago. So I love that they came out with the rest of the colors. So here is the silver one. Look at that. I do have the swatch of this one. And this is not top coated. This silver one comes with like a without a tacky layer. It is like already kind of top coated. Because top coat used to dull chrome gels uh, down. I don't know, but I have not top coated it. This this is just as it is cured 60 seconds. So look how pretty that is. One coat. And I always leave it a bit before I put it in the lamp to cure because it is kind of like getting, you know, like a more chrome finish. Okay, so that is the silver that they already have. Let's take a look at this. We're going to check out the vintage chrome gel paint first. So this is, I'm thinking I have opened them um, because they come, as you can see, with this um, foil over. So this is the vintage. Now it just looks like a regular, kind of like a regular silver. We're going to give them a good stir because, you know, mix them up a bit because they have been standing. A long time so or they have been in the pot for a long time i guess i can say i know i still haven't done my left hand i was thinking about doing that on camera we'll see um so just giving it a mix and now you can see it turns into more like a, a kind of antique so let's do a swatch of these and see how they look so I just buff these tips to make, you know, to make sure it will stick a bit better. Um, I barely have anything on that brush. Barely nothing. Oh my goodness. Okay. So this is super pigmented. A little goes such a long way. So you can absolutely use this as a gel polish too. Just, you know, just don't do very thick layers because when it is this pigmented, it will um, wrinkle and they need a 60 second cure and they are also 21 free hammer free cruelty free all the, that good stuff look at that that is a very very special kind of like a yeah vintage <laughs> like uh, i don't know how to explain you see, I'm trying to see if it will um, kind of get more chromey when you wait a bit. That is so pretty, guys. It's really, really nice. So we're going to cure that for 60 seconds. And I'm going to clean the brush. And we're going to go over to the gold chrome gel paint. Oh, it's so pretty. It's so, it's so let's swatch the gold chrome. Wow, they are so, so nice. Oh, look at this. So this is, it's not like a super light gold. It is so pretty. I keep bugging around with it, I guess, because I'm trying, you know, to get it over the hump and so on, but which is not necessary. Wow, a little goes such a long way, guys. And only one coat. It is crazy how opaque it is. Look at that. It is so opaque. Look at that. That is super pretty. 
and you don't have like a lot of brush strokes can you see that there is not much brush strokes at all on this that's really nice so yeah the longer you keep it laying i think i'm not sure if it is like the silver chrome but i feel like it is kind of settling pretty fast so let's pop that in 60 seconds always with the gel paints and next is rose chrome so let's mix oh this looks so pretty it looks really really pretty you can see all this pink Yeah, that is a beautiful color. That is like literally barely nothing on that brush. I think I got two in there. Well, I got it off towards the of the brush instead let's see you do not want to do it thick you don't need it thick either because it is so pigmented it really goes on so smooth guys wow look at that So pretty. Look at that color. I feel like it is settling really easy, really fast. And really, really nice. Wow, that is a stunning color. I don't know if it shows up that good on camera. Let me cure this and we will check them together so you can see the real difference on them. Okay, so these do have a tacky layer. These are not no wipes, so we're going to try to apply some no wipe top coat over them and see how that goes. Let's cross our fingers. We don't mess it up. to the lamp again here we go so the no wipe top coat did not mess them up do you see that they are just as nice with a top coat over now you can see the difference more look at that how pretty that is they're all beautiful and here is the silver so that's the silver chrome that they had for a while um, and here is the vintage we have the gold and then we have the rose so you can see a big difference on the vintage and the silver I really like them they are beautiful as with the low the rose gold one or rose one it's called I guess so should we try just you know guys i'm not uh i'm not good at hand painting i'm not good at drawing and stuff like that so let's just take the long fine liner from an one and we're gonna try a little bit let's use the rose chrome gel paint and just do some lines or something you know just to try it as a paint um i'm gonna totally going to use these on nails in the future because they are beautiful okay let's see i like to have a palette you know when i'm doing this usually so let's see
Yeah. It is. This one is. Yeah, it is working great. Obviously, for him painting, it is like not a watery consistency. It's not too thick. And it is not too thin. It's just like the perfect, you know, the perfect consistency. You see, this one was a very, very light line with very little gel. And it is totally opaque. This one was a bit thicker. So you get kind of like a higher, um, kind of like a almost 3D effect on the first one. So, yeah, it is covering really nice. What did I do? What did I do? Yeah, I do like it a lot, guys. It is really, really nice to work with. It, it's lovely to apply as a gel polish. It is goes really nice to paint with everything, so it feels like. As usual, the Manangalam gel paints used to be really nice. And as you can see, you can also do like a kind of like a 3D. Can you see that? How raised it is? This uh, first, like this line I did, the first line. And here it is all completely flat down here. And it is so opaque and nice. And you can top coat them, which I love, you know, without any problems. The chrome is not getting dulled down, nothing. This is impossible to see over this stuff. But yeah, I like them a lot. They are so nice. Okay, I just want to try them, you know, a little bit for painting. But I'm sure we're going to see these in the future being used. So I'm going to leave you now, guys. I'm going to leave the links down in my description box. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And hopefully I'll see you in my next video. Take care. Bye.